Okay, you should have watched the videos that talk about uh, density and gave, gave a demo of pressure. And again, we use the Greek letter rho for density, and that equals mass over volume. And what we will use a lot is we will solve for mass. This implies that mass equals the density times the volume. Those are equivalent, as you can see. Same thing here. In a minute, you're going to see where we use force equals pressure times area. But the definitions of the density and pressure are these formulas, and these formulas you'll be given on the test if you need them. Okay? But now we're going to apply this to liquid and come up with a new formula. So this is in your packet, one of your packets that you have, your student packet on fluid uh, concepts. They give you a picture of something is floating it's not going up, it's not going down. An object is floating in water. That means there are two forces on that object. One is the force of gravity pushing down. They could also draw their force diagram this way. Here's my force of gravity, and here's the force of the water. Now, Newton's second law tells us that since this object is not accelerating, these forces are balanced. So they just do a little math here. You guys can follow the math. Again, they use the they solve for the force equals PA, and they solve for the mass equals rho times volume, and volume is equal to area times height. So they plug all that in and cancel, and you get that the pressure, this is the pressure due to the fluid, okay? This pressure is due to the fluid. We will see later if we put something on top, then we have to adjust this equation. But this equation is the static pressure due to the fluid. So that means it only depends upon the height of the fluid. So the question is, which has more pressure, here or here? They both have identical heights, so they have identical pressure on an object. If you were, if this was like in miles, and you had this huge lake and the small lake, if the depth of the water is the same, then a skin diver in this situation would have the same pressure on their body as the skin diver in this situation. Now, <clears throat> if I want to know how strong, if this is a bucket, how strong this seal has to be, how, how strong the weld has to be on this one and this one, that would be different because there's more total force here, right? Because force, we found, is pressure times area. And the pressure is the same for both of these, but the area is different. So this bucket would have to hold more force. But if you just want to know the pressure on your body, which is what we're mostly going to deal with in this unit, is that only depends upon the height of the fluid. You really need to keep that straight. Now, I'm not going to prove it, but you can. You have to think about it a while. But it's probably easiest just to accept the fact that if you have fluid that's connected, where it can flow from one place to the other, if you're at the same height on a U-tube, that has the same pressure, okay? No matter what's on top, if they're at the same height from the bottom up, and it's all connected, and the reason is if you had more pressure here, then the water, the water will flow until you get equalized pressure on these two spots, and you can show that, okay? So what this diagram does, it shows that if, I have a piston right here that's just sitting there. If I put a force here, then the pressure right here equals the pressure right here. And we can use that to find what the pressure is right here. Because that pressure has to equal this pressure, and the pressure would be due to this fluid. Okay? So the height of this fluid would tell us the pressure that's right there. 